All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate your TV on Windows. So you're going to have to go into the Windows apps, and you're going to have to download the HDR calibration tool. And then once you get it, it should have this stuff right here on there. Um, this is basically how you are going to uh how you're gonna how you're gonna do that so you're gonna you'll, you'll just once you have this on your screen you just hit the get started and then as you can see you'll have the little box right here <clears throat> with the gray borders and this is your black level um what we're using right now is my l is, is my is my c2 oled so down here at the bottom you'll have this right here and then I would just use like your little arrow key, um, just kind of click on that and then you can use your arrow key and that will start going down. Um, you'll, you'll see like it go down and you just keep going down until you can no longer see the gray box, which if you've got a lot of lights and a glossy reflection like this right here, it's going to make it a little bit tough to finally see it disappear. But I think, let me see. Yeah, I can still kind of see it. But then, right there, it just disappears. Like you just want it to disappear. And it looks like it disappears right at the very bottom for this. So after that, then you'll click next. And now you're going to do the same thing with this. But now you're going to go from... Now you're going to go brighter. <clears throat> We're at 300, 340, 350, 360, 370, up to 4. We're up to 450, 4, 480. We're up to 580. We're up to 620. We're up to 660, 690, 7, 710, 720, 730, 740. 750, 760, 770, 780, gone. Wow, I can still see it over here on this. That's crazy. Let me see. Okay, all right. So you notice how that goes away on, on the recording? Um, that there is at like 2000 that, that, that's a, well, no, that's a, that's a three, almost 3000 guys, 2,800, 2,800 to get it to go away on that, um, on the recording. And then you see as it, as it like comes back down, but for mine, for on the TV, it goes away right at. You can still see it right there at 710, 750, 60, 780. <clears throat> so just until it goes away, because if you if you go any brighter, then it just starts clipping everything. So 780, and then you're going to do the exact same thing with this one right here as well. You're just going to take this until it completely matches the full frame luminance or whatever. can still see it there like you'll you'll know when it's gone like i can't see it now but you see how you can still see it on there right there but it is getting um if you look over here in the corners like over here on this corner like it shows you what it should look like with the little check mark it should be completely the same color and then yeah so don't i mean this this recording obviously um, for the sake of this recording, let me show you. That right there is maxed out. And that is at 2690 for that. But obviously, on my, on my end, from what I can see, it's, 
closer to like right in this area. So 780. Yeah, see, I can see it now at 710, 770, 780. So once you do that, then you just hit next. Boom. And then this here will bring up your color saturation um, thing right here. You can, and then you'll you'll adjust it down here. Um, let's see if that will go any more than that. So we are testing this on the uh, on the LG. So I don't think that's really doing a whole lot of good down there. Yeah, you can definitely start to see it get a little bit brighter. So I would set this about 50 and then you can use your digital vibrance on your NVIDIA card for the rest of it. And so now you look at the before calibration and the after calibration. This right here on the before has like this just kind of more like blurry smudgy, but then it looks all more like crisp and pristine over here on this side. Uh, and you can't really see it in the, the image right there. But that there, my friends, is how you calibrate the uh, the HDR on your screen. And then right here, you can just put like, all right, this here is, you know, 4080 super. And then you finish that. Boom. And then it's done. Now, after you do that, you'll just... Uh, then you would get like into your adrenaline software or your NVIDIA software. And then we'll do this right here. Um, you just hit your like little start tab, go into <clears throat> the NVIDIA control panel. Let's see what it's going to pull it up. Um, it's going to pull that up over here. And now is what I do is I go into adjust the color settings. And that there is going to bring you down here and it's going to give you digital vibrance. So you're going to want to set this. Normally it starts off right here at 50, but I usually go over to about 70 for NVIDIA. Um, on AMD in the adrenaline software, it's going to be under color. Like you'll, you'll just adjust it. You'll, you'll turn on like um, um, custom color and then you'll go down to the saturation. I personally like 150 on that. That is the only setting that I use for AMD to do that is just the 150 in the calibration. I was planning on making this video before I took the AMD card out, but I I got all caught up after the uh after the interview this morning with Tara and so I ended up putting the 4080 super back in there cuz I was going to be testing that all week with this with this monitor with the with the with the C2 and stuff. So that there's how you do there. You just hit the apply button once you got your 70. Um, that You shouldn't really need to do anything else other than that. Obviously, adjust the color settings, you know, make sure everything when you go in here to advanced, make sure um, you get in here and make sure you want that at full um, on all three of these acts. Actually, you want those all at full on the NVIDIA side. Full, and then you just hit apply that there will make sure you get the full color range for your GPU um, and then obviously you know the adjust desktop colors so you get in there and that there will give you this right here to kind of show you like the reference or whatever um, it's pretty cool you just play around with this not too much only adjust one at a time like digital vibrance kind of gives you a more vibrant look I like that more than than uh, I think that makes HDR pop significantly more. If you have muted toned colors and then you turn on HDR, it it just that all you're getting is the 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 darkness and the brightness contrasting on the screen. That's all you're getting with that. Um, but there's another third part that comes along with HDR, and that is color. Uh, the color gamut gets wider. The the, the the more the color you can see, the better the overall image quality is, in my opinion. Like you can see finer detail if you have the color to represent all that different detail in that image. So I think color is extremely important when it comes to HDR. So, all right, my friends, if you guys like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.